What's up you guys, it's Haley, and I am back. I'm going to be doing a cool hair tutorial for you guys. A lot of you have been asking to see how I do my own hair, when I do my own hair, so check it out. Okay, so step one would be I spray a bit of volumizing spray into my wet hair before I blow dry it, and I really love this way volumizing spray. It's the best, it smells amazing. Shout out to Jen Atkin. The next thing I'm gonna do is blow drying your hair, which I already did. I'm going to turn on my iron, fun Dyson iron that I also got from Jen. <laughs> I'm going to take texturizing spray and I'm gonna spray it in my hair all over. I like to do a little bit of texturizing spray before. I'm going to clip my hair up like this. Okay, and then I'm gonna start by taking it piece by piece, section by section. And with the iron, I just do this. I don't know how to explain what this motion is, kind of just a wave motion. The texture of my hair, especially when I'm like just showered and my hair's really, really clean, is it's kind of like slick. I have to sometimes add a bit more of like a texture spray or a hairspray as I'm doing my hair so that it adds a little bit more of like a grip. I decided to go with this down, wavy textured hair for you guys because this is usually just my go-to when I have the time to do it myself. If I was like going out for a dinner or like going out on date night, this is typically the hair that I'm going to do for an evening of fun. I'm gonna take down one more section and this is how I usually do it too, right? Like I finish the whole head and then I look for different spots in my hair that I think I need to like fix or go over again, so. Go back in with a little texture spray. So what the texturizing spray does is it, to me, gives it a little bit of thickness and it mattifies the hair a little bit. I have really like sleek, silky hair and when you're trying to do anything with an iron, I feel like sometimes it kind of just like slides out. So this helps with that. Be careful about like not squeezing the iron too tight because even in that piece you could see that like it dented a little bit in my hair. My vibe right now, especially with my hair, is I've been doing a lot of this like messy, kind of like undone, lived in. To me it's fine if it's not like these perfect like glossy waves. So if it wasn't this, it's usually something that's like pulled back, either like a slick back with like a low bun or like pulled up out of my face. I love a good like chip clip. Now for the final layer. I will go back over a couple pieces I've already done just to kind of like blend the top of my hair and blend the rest of it. So for the top layer of my hair, I don't start as high up with the iron because I know that it will cause it to dent. Looks crazy. So to finish it off, I will hit it one more time with the texturizing spray and kind of just rough it up, especially around my face. I add dry shampoo at the end because I hope that when I do my hair and then sleep on it, it'll still be fresh enough to wear again the next day. So go in, especially at my roots with some dry shampoo, looking clean and fresh but also textured and messy and a little bit gritty. My last, last step is to take a really light hairspray that's not like a super hard hold hairspray. Spray it lightly on both sides and that is it. That is my wavy hair tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. I will see you next time.